Hello everybody and happy holidays. This is Sherry with L'Amour Pores. And today I'm doing a huge custom wave again with my husband, Dave. He's gonna run the chain for me. Now this client is a professional surfer who lives here in San Diego and he competes all over the world and he had some specific ideas after seeing a wave I did very similar to this. He wanted a wave that really looked more like a barrel wave, um, understandably. Um, and he wanted, this is the largest wave we've ever done. This is a 48 by 60 canvas. And um, I asked him to give me some photographs so that I could actually picture what he's got the idea in his head. And that's what we do with commission paintings. So now in this painting, um, I am using Prussian blue, which is a very dark, beautiful blue, and cerulean blue, which is a lighter, more of a shiny, it's not quite metallic, but it is a lighter blue. I use deep turquoise, opaque teal, payroll red, um, some cadmium red, and I mix just a little bit of quinacridone magenta in it so the red wouldn't be quite so orangey. I want it to have a little deeper effect to it. I then used um, fairy tale blue by Arteza. By the way, all those colors are golden. Um, the fairy tale blue is Arteza, and of course, there's that go to 24 karat gold. Um, deco art Americana that I use just about in every painting. So what I'm doing right now is getting that outline of the wave and um, uh, before my husband's ready to run the chain through it. I just use the palette knife to just give it a little bit more shape and get the composition down. And uh, then my husband will run the wave with the chain. And here we go. Now this first run with the chain um, is done by my husband without my help. Um, and then we're going to run it again, but let's just watch how this chain runs through the paint. It's gonna come around, make a big circle with it. Sounds funny when you do that, but there is uh, a reasons behind our chaos. Uh, many times doing a wave together, we, um, we kind of have it down at this point. So I'm going to use a palette knife in this um, painting. I'm going to use my grandmother Dory's ice pick as always. And I'm gonna use an air gun. There's a lot of work to go here, but, um, oh, and a comb. <laughs> yeah, I use the comb down on the bottom of it as well. So here comes the second run of the chain and it's going to change this wave dramatically at first. I could not have done this by myself, by the way, you guys. This is a very big um, canvas. So you would think that all your paints get all mixed up but when you use certain mediums, I use GAC 800, and I also use Floetrol when I mix with my golden paints. And the special effects that golden paints gives you is it separates the colors back out again. In other words, they don't all get mixed in and, and become one color. And that is why it's so important to mix your paints properly in order for your colors to come back out um, and stand on their own. So here's my air gun. I'm using the air gun to create the spray. And um, this, um, my client really wanted a lot of spray on the top. I, I would have used my palette knife and made that spray look like it was blowing in the wind. But these are specific things that a client asks for and in a commission, you do what they ask. And we're, right now we're just talking about composition and how we want that wave to come down. How are we gonna get that wave to come down? I 
and my husband's giving me direction. You need more spray up there, he's saying, and you need to have more spray come down. Well, all right then. So my husband doesn't use an air gun just yet or a palette knife, but he's great with the chain. I've been using an air gun for years. And believe me, if you don't know how to use one or if you're just learning, don't be surprised if the paint sprays everywhere and a canvas gets, gets ruined. Believe me, I've ruined quite a few canvases before I got this technique down. I know it looks like we're making a mess, but the white will blend right back in. And if you mix your colors properly, your colors are gonna come back out. They will not mix up. What we call that is mud when, when the colors mix up. Uh, with golden, probably not gonna have that happen. More often than not, you're gonna have really crisp colors at the end. A little more spray. Spray looks really beautiful when it's dried. It does. So this this wave is in our traditional way, but we ended up being pretty happy with it. More importantly, my client was ecstatic. Now the bottom of the wave looked too straight to me, so I took some of my gold and I made an outline and I'm taking the air gun and I'm bringing down that wave so the uh, water part of the wave so that it has more movement and it's not quite so straight and then when you're done with the air gun I will take the palette knife and smooth that all out so it will give that foamy and here's the palette knife so I'm going to run some of that white into that blue and wait in all the while as as we're doing this these cells and the colors are popping back out crisp and clean and clear and uh, of all things in even more important than composition well just as important as composition is having crisp clear lines colors and cells that have individual so you can see the individual colors when you're done with your painting. Now I cut out a lot of this painting. Here we are, we're done. I did cut out a lot. I used my grandmother Dory's pick and then um, waited about an hour and here we are after an hour and as you can see we got that foamy look on the top. Look at the gold coming out and the teals and that red is just brilliant right gorgeous the teal over here and the cells just beautiful that prussian blue running through it really gives it movement the reds came out gorgeous the deep turquoise right there and that's prussian blue on the top gold cells blue cells um, it really uh, has beautiful crisp clear effects and that's what you want. You want that, those beautiful effects. And there's that splash at the end. And um, for our first time doing our version of a barrel wave, um, I'm very pleased with it. And uh, my client is just, he's ecstatic with it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday. And um, I'll see you uh, during the next video. Thanks for watching.